now dead. Pretty sure that's the case anyway. What now? Drop Bear lost his ranged weapon. Drop Bear is actually a pretty good hunter, but. Drop Bear has contracted a diarrhea from dirty water and not washing their hands. Way to go, Drop Bear. Keep it real. Just keep, keep on keeping it real. Anything else? Drop Bear has contracted 10 diarrheas just from being Drop Bear. Drop Bear has contracted a 30 diarrhea because he's Drop Bear. Drop Bear is complaining about something else now. There's something else wrong with Drop Bear. Drop Bear has 70 diarrheas just because he's Drop Bear. That's, the, that's basically the rest of the game now. Take some Muffalo and zone them outside of the base. I can't do it. We can't we can't keep them going in the winter. Drop Bear is about to have a major break risk. Let me guess. He's in intense pain. He's hungry. He doesn't like the environment. He's sick. The interior is too cramped for his liking. 2,000 silver. Nice. Uh, he's tried to um, get in good with a prostitute who has uh, denied him every step of the way. So that's happened as well. Nice. Well, there you go. So that's five out. So one, two, three, four, five. So to there. And then we want this to be here so that this matches up with this side, right? And then is it, what, three up? One, two, three, so it'd be like up to here and then into here like that. Okay, we can do this pentagram. Psychic Soothe and Peace Talks, sounds great. Coxian is getting very quick at building stuff, which is real nice. Okay, so let's uninstall these beds for now. Uh, let's get this mined out. Let's get rid of this. And then we need to get rid of these walls here, like this. And then we could deconstruct this as well, right? Oh, actually, we want to move this back a little bit too, right? So that it's like the same as on this side, so that there's like a, a barrier in between. So we'll have to see. Drop bear, we might have to move like into here instead. So let's give him this one. Drop bear. We're going to reassign you here. So that we can uninstall this bed. Do this work here. Okay, we're getting there. It's not ideal. People are having to sleep outside and stuff, but... And they'll go a bit nuts as a result. But at least, like, we can get some of the stuff done here. Uh, okay, so orders. Let's cut all these plants. And let's not re -sew. Get rid of that. And then at least we'll have a bit more rice to see us through the winter. It's n minus nine outside, so a lot of the stuff's gonna start dying soon anyway, right? I did not kill forever, man. Blame mittens. Don't forget about my double bed and bed and red light. The colony's mood depends on it. Coxian, we will, but I can't do it now. There's too many other things to do. I can't. I can't waste time on that stuff. We will after when we're a bit more stable, though.
Okay. Good. So... So here we have a wooden wall that goes like that. That'll have to be got rid of. And then this one we can keep here. We'll have the same thing on the other side, right? With like another crafting room down there. So how many more bedrooms? We need three. And we're building it all around this rock here. Okay, good. Okay, so these floors, let's remove these floors here too to claim back some of this wood. Okay, and then structure-wise here, so it's gonna go, so we'll have a door there, that'll go like that, then this goes back, and this has to go back by one now. So we have to actually go like that all the way through. And then we have to get rid of Just so that it looks kind of the same, right? On each side. Okay, so then we'll have a door here. We'll have a door here as well. So that's two rooms. Then we just need a third room. I kind of like this. It's nice. Okay, and then so we can set this bad boy up here like that. A Coxian's really good at building stuff. Holy shit. And then we'd have another room in here. Okay. Great. Alright, and then floors will go for a sandstone tile again. So I was watching an old Triforce episode and you were talking about how much you love TTS. Was I? Nice. It's breakfast time again. It's breakfast time again. What? No, it can't be. Are you serious? How are these bills doing? Parkas, toques, and pants. So we still need two more parkas. I don't know what Poop Feast has been working on, but we'll find out soon. Okay, so structure then. This needs to be put back. Because we don't need to build up into there now. This can be deleted. Okay. Things are happening. I think Poop Feast might be making some toques now. Unless he's making parkas out of this wool. Mega Sloth wool parka. Fair enough. We should have probably kept the wool for the toques, but the parka will do. But... Refugee chased at Helenar 2.0. This is a human computer named Wendy. Wendy? Oh, look at her intellect. Oh, that's great. Okay. All right. Who wants to be the... Who wants to be the... Prostinal. Pros... Prostinal. Prostinal. Okay, you got it. All right. Any good at doctoring? Not at all. Okay, fine. Uh, decent enough at wardening, I guess, but, uh, these other guys, Coxian's really good at wardening, holy crap. Okay, let's just put you on, um, full-time researching so that we can get electricity done. And then we can put you on, what, backup smithing and tailoring? You'll never do hauling and cleaning. Okay, that should be fine. All right, everybody else... Let's hide in the base behind the rocks. And wait for the raid. <laughs> because look, one side is not done. Okay, it's one guy named Spider and he's coming in with it. Let's hope he takes the left side. He won't though. He's on to us. Oh god. Everybody quick. Get involved. Drop bear. Where's your gun for Christ's sake? Okay, grab that. You grab this. Pentagrill? Wait, grab this club instead. Oh, look it. 
do we want to imprison spider is he any good 12 crafting 8 melee Okay, we'll grab him. All right, so now we have uh, a really good researcher. We can maybe get electricity soon, which would be great ahead of the winter. It's not likely to happen, but it would still be very good, right? Oh, fuck. Okay, we're being attacked again by gray this time oh fuck fuck I really wish that somebody had rearmed these traps alright drop bear poop feast penny you can just stay there. Pentagrill, you can do that stuff too. Okay, good. Is that pretty much everybody in, in place? He's gonna come this way, isn't he? Pentagrill can do this tending and stuff now. Oh my god, he went the other way. He's really injured. <laughs> he's gonna die in four hours out here. Oh shit, he's lighting everything on fire. What a fucking baby. Come on, Penny, get him. Get him, Penny. Slice him up good. Yeah, nice. Okay, put out the fires now. Oh, what a baby. He, tri he tripped on one trap and he came out here. All, all this stuff is blighted anyway. Great timing. Christ almighty. Okay, so orders. Let's cut these plants. Oh, that's hilarious. Stop using the stone traps. They're great. They do a lot of damage. We just got to make sure that... Um, we just got to make sure that they get rearmed and stuff, right? Furniture, torch lamps. We need torch lamps in all these rooms, too. We're, we're running low on beds. We're low on bed space. Not everybody has somewhere to sleep tonight. That ain't the best. Sips playing Randy Random on medium difficulty? Yeah, I am. Use the wooden traps. Didn't run out of wood, though. I'm almost out of wood now. Once he's done this stuff, he can get back onto the stones and stuff, right? Parka. He hasn't had a chance to finish these parkas. We need two more parkas for the winter. And then we're good. Pentagrill, Drop Bear, Poop Feast, and Prostinol all have parkas already. Why did the death have a larger bedroom than the living? Um, I don't know. It's just the way that it worked out. It's just, uh, we can move this tomb, actually, and make bedrooms up this side instead, I think. Maybe cut down this room as well. So we have, like, a path along the side. I don't know. We'll see. It's not, the, it's not a finished product here. We're in the middle of, it, of doing it. Spider has gotten an infection. So I don't think we have any medicine. At all. We can try harvesting some, but... I think Spider's gonna die. We'll see, though. As long as Coxian doesn't get a disease and die. We got a minor infection. Is the meat... Immunity is 11%. Infection is at 12%. He might outrun this, actually. Uh, Coxian and Pentagrill have fallen in love. Nice. Coxian and Pentagrill sitting in a tree. K-I-S-S-I-N-G. First comes love, then comes marriage. Then comes Pentagrill in a baby carriage. Drop Bear and Penny as well. Wow. Drop Bear and Penny. 
Ooh, okay, and an eclipse as well, sure. Anything else game they want to have happen? Okay, so that's solves the bedroom problem for now at least. Two people are in are madly in love. Are we out of wood? Okay, yeah, we are out of wood. Fuck's sake. What a dickhead. Jesus. He wakes up just to deliver the wood and then he just goes back to bed. I mean, Jesus Christ. Coxian is fully healed now. Okay, and Poofbeast is still making parkas. Another parka has been made. So who needs to wear one as well? Penny? This is an excellent one. Okay. So this is, these are the double beds, double rooms and stuff. Structure, wooden door here as well. So that's Penny and Drop Bear are going to sleep in there. Penny's bedroom. Coxian and Pentagrill are sleeping together now. Drop Bear hasn't been reassigned to his new bed yet. Okay, perfect. All right, so hygiene, let's get some water tubs in these for people as well so that they can wash up. So who's missing a bedroom now? Nobody. We're good for bedrooms. Oh, Pros Prostenol is missing one. Okay, but she can have that one. Perfect. Great. That's six degrees in there. Spider's having a medical emergency because of this extreme infection. Immunity's at 83%. The infection's at 81%. Pentagrill? You're gonna have to tend to him quick. We want to get this guy on board, which I'm not sure we do. His resistance is 29. It's going to take forever. But it'll be good for socializing and better for trading and stuff too, right? So let's see. What's he at now? 93%. Ah, he might actually get over this. Look at this. He got a 53% 10 quality. So it looks like he's going to be immune before he dies. Uh, hopefully he's worth it. I don't think he's that great at anything, but... The more people, the merrier, right? Hey, your new bedroom is smaller than your old one. Well, that's tough. It's the way she goes. Okay, let's link these beds. I guess that's just one for everybody to use. Oh, wow, they're cleaning up and stuff, too. This is great. What's he working on? Another parka. So this is the this is the last parka we need for Coxian, right? Plain leather. Furniture. An armchair made of plain leather. There you go. Look, you're gonna be sitting there researching electricity for some time. We might as well give you a good chair to do it in, right? Made out of delicious plain leather. Name Spider Jimmy Nuffer. You promised him one pawn. Well, he's not in the thing yet, though. I'll name him if we if we recruit him. I'll name him Jimmy. Okay. We have to reduce his resistance. Plus, he's in a bad way. Plus, he might try to escape a million times. Plus, he could turn out to be just a grade A POS. You never know, right? All of these things and more. I wish we had like a better setup for heat and stuff. Like even right now indoors here, with the fire roaring, it's still like minus seven. Oh, it's because of this vent, isn't it? Okay, we'll close it so that it can warm up in here a bit. 
Who's starving? Drop bear is starving. Drop bear, how the hell are you starving when there's fucking meals everywhere here? This, this doesn't make sense to me. Okay, that's another parka done. Okay, furniture. Let's get a couple of shelves set up in and around. Actually, we need rooms in there, in there for, we need room in there for dressers and stuff, right? So where can we set up some shelves? Inside this tomb? We can make this into like a mini armory. Just for now. And then move these move these sarcophaguses out. So we gotta start storing some of this stuff. We could really do with melting down some of these old weapons and stuff too. Man, the the frequency of trade caravans and stuff is so small, eh? Like we not getting anything here. We made some pants for Penny, but there's no storage space for any of this stuff, so they won't use it. Okay, good. So there is a spare parka for Coxie. Okay, so that's warm clothes for everybody for the winter now. So that's good. I don't know if we have enough for Tukes. Wildlife-wise, we could be going after some of this smaller stuff. Maybe not the timber wolf. There's a bunch of caribou out here that we could kill as well. We're almost out of rice. It hasn't even winter yet. Mine some steel. Yeah, we're gonna have to. Nice shoot and drop there. Real good. Just show that raccoon who's boss. <laughs> Alright. There's a combat supplier that's just turned up. We have quite a bit of silver, so maybe we could buy a hunting rifle. A bolt-action rifle for uh, either one of our hunters would be great, actually. Okay, Poop Feast needs treatment. For what, exactly? Oh, he's got asthma. Shit. Alright. Poop, Poop Feast has become our new... Okay, who's our, who's our best uh, warden? Who's got the most social skills for us? Coxie and the prostitute does. Coxie, where are you? Let's make a good trade here. Alright. Let's sell some of these crappy steel knives and clubs and stuff. And let's buy some medicine. Would be good. 341 bucks. And they've got a bolt action rifle here, normal, for 293 bucks. And a pump shotgun. Do we want a pump shotgun? Do we want a normal flak vest? They got marine helmets and stuff here too. Okay, let's just go with that. That's fine. Okay, so our best hunter is not drop bear, but oh, it's definitely poop feast. Okay, poop feast. You can have the bolt action rifle wherever it is. Where'd it go? Oh shit, look at all this stuff that just landed in here too. Okay, poop feast. Wake up, bitch. Get that bolt action rifle. Nice. Okay, and now Drop Bear can have your old bow and arrow. It's a it's a poor bow. I'm just a poor bow. Poor bow. Alright, and then Poop Feast is work um working and duties and stuff include uh, animal handling. Which you don't want to do, and then uh, we've also got him on tailoring and art and stuff too. So, cooking and hunting have got to be like the one, right? The Pentagirl's got in inspired surgery. It's minus 21 degrees. God damn, we need heat. We need heat so bad. These people are going to be miserable. It's going to be so cold for them to sleep and stuff. It's going to be awful. Okay, good job, Drop Bear. Okay, and then this caribou will go out and kill as well, and we can hopefully make some toques. Poofies, go shoot us some, go shoot up some caribou with your new rifle, you son of a bitch. He's doing it. 
All right, here we go. Let's watch Poop Feast in action. He's got great skills. Drop Bear's coming out to help, too. Nice shooting, Poop Feast. Look at all these hits. Good job, Poop Feast. Really good. Good hunting. And then there's Mr. Quitter here who just quits after missing five shots. My hands are made. <laughs> Get one of the others to do the cooking. Yeah, you know what? I think we're going to put Drop Bear on full-time cooking because what a scooby dooby doo Just the biggest scooby doo you've ever known. So let's put him on a three. And then he can get back to crafting, tailoring, and smithing as well, which would be more useful. There's no point in Drop Bear going hunting. He sucks at it. Jeez. It's just gonna... He gets out there and he misses five shots and then he just pieces out back home. So what's the point? Make a room with a vent for a freezer in the winter. I mean, it's not going to be hard for us to get a freezer in the winter. Poop Feast is about to have a major break. It's filthy. It's dark. It's chilly. He's got an awful bedroom. Amongst other things as well. He's got a whole long list of complaints. But many caribou are dying. Which is the main thing. This is good. Wildlife. He's got three more caribou to go out and kill. Oh... meant to use your own bath. More cargo pods. With unfertilized eggs. Nice. I can't believe we're still going with this crazy. Do some mining? Yeah, we need to do some. Put a toilet in with the prisoner so that he can poop. Um... What, just like a little latrine? Okay, we'll get Coxian in there to do it for him. Coxian, what are you doing? Coxian, you never need to do research again now. There you go, now Spider can take a dump. Oh, it's a party. Well, things must be going well if we're having a party. Things must be on the up. Things must be looking up for a party to... Prison rescue request. Okay, we can't really do a caravan or anything just yet. We're still not really at that point, are we? We've only just gotten the bedrooms and stuff kind of sorted out. We need to rearm these traps. Do we haul all this wood in? Yeah, we have. Okay, perfect. We're going to have to get, with the uh, Dub's bad hygiene, we can get radiators. We can boil water, have hot water, and do radiators. We're going to have to do that to stay warm. Tropical, you need to sprint to Pinoxicillin or you get death by disease. We've got a bit of Pinoxicillin right now, actually. Okay, look at how comfortable Prostinol is right now. Look at this, researching electricity like a wizard. That's great. That is just great. Boy, is it ever cold. Okay, we got a couple more caribou to kill. And then Poop Feast can get back to doing these traps. Actually, who else is any good at crafting? Penny? Alright, Penny. Let's get you crafting. So that we can get some of this stuff rearmed and some of these jobs done. Drop Bear is hauling stuff, but he's not actually constructing. He's just waiting for Coxian to do it, I think. It's minus 16 outside. Why haven't I made a Drop Bear chair? We're working on it. Boreal is just more fun to play. It's a lot more challenging than Temperate, that's for sure. The longer winters are rough. 
Well, once we have electricity, we can have indoor growing areas, and then we might be better with some hydroponics. Prostanol is the name of a prostate medication. Nice. Well, luckily, I don't know anything about that just yet, but I'm getting to the uh, to the age where maybe that's going to become like a, a fixture in my life. Well, let's hope not, though. Let's hope not. Who knows, though, right? Is this a new settlement? What happened to the other one? Uh, no, these, it's the same crew from the old settlement. We had to move. We had to move bases. It all got... I, I can't believe we've recovered from that. It's unbelievable, actually. I mean, we really shouldn't shouldn't actually be here with these people right now. It was really touch and go a couple of times. We had no food. The fallout just happens randomly. It's a random event. Um, but it happened at such an unfortunate time where there was not very much wildlife left on the map. We were hunting them. Um, and when there's a fallout, no new wildlife turns up, so we completely ran out of food. So we had to caravan everybody out of the site, abandon, and move to a new site. Drop Bear and Penny are going to get married now, okay? So this was the initial site here. Now it's been abandoned by the nomadic bad boys, which is us. So that was the toxic fallout. Then we moved here, right? What's this? Prisoner camp. Then we moved here. And uh, we set up a, a little, like, uh, cave base. But again, the wildlife dried up quickly and there were mega spiders, like, everywhere in really bad spots. So uh, once everybody... And we lost, like, three more people there. Uh, so once everybody was fit and able, we packed up all the stuff and we came here instead. Uh, there was a couple of points where almost everybody died, and a couple of more people died here. But just slowly, things have been improving, and now we have a bit of a base. We have a kill box here, and things are just going a little bit better. Uh, but, I mean, it's we're always about, like, one paycheck away from, um, from starving as well. So, we'll just see how things go. Okay, let's haul in a bunch of sandstone so that we can make, so that we have like a stockpile of stuff, and then we can start upgrading the building materials that we're using. The chem fuel incident that happened as well, yeah. Does chem fuel melt steel walls? It appears that it does, yeah. Research is going good. We almost got electricity. Yeah, we're halfway to electricity, so that's going to open up a whole bunch of stuff for us, and. Um, we can do smithing and stuff, but we don't have that much steel. We should really do some more mining. We could really do with mining up some more steel. Or trading for some. We do have somebody who can mine, but it's not a high priority. We don't have anybody who's actually that great at mining. We have a little bit of medicine now, though, which is pretty good. How's this guy doing? His resistance is down to 17.9, which is pretty good. And there's a manhunter pack. It's a bunch of manhunting squirrels, it looks like. Who are moving in on the colony. So see this path that they're taking? See, they don't go through the marsh. They'll go down here. So this is really good to know for raids and stuff, right? Yeah, come on in, squirrels. Come on in. Good. Okay, the squirrels are all dead. Ah, potatoes. Nice. Okay, we'll take those potatoes. We kind of need some food anyway, so... Uh, it is winter. It's minus 17, it's cold. Everybody's gonna be miserable, but at least we all have parkas. Free food. And no traps. Yeah, no, we're gonna have to rearm the traps. Coxian is on it. Coxian's pretty decent at building, actually. Oh, Poop Feast is, uh, is doing this stuff now, too. So that's pretty good. So that means that we've hunted up all of the caribou. Ah, we got a self-tamed caribou as well. Nice. Okay, we're just gonna slaughter him instantly. Because there's no point hanging on to him. 
We're not going to be able to feed him over the winter anyway. We don't want him eating up our supplies of food, so. What? Caribou! Yeah. Alright, out you go. Kill the elk, Poop Feast. Poop Feast is our, is our hunter. Doing all the hunting things that need to be done. Okay, so once if we can if we can recruit spider, great. That'll just turn into his bedroom. So we'll just turn that into his bedroom. So we haven't made tukes because tukes require um, wool stuff, and I think we wasted most of it on parkas. You like you love caribou such a woody sounding word. It is a little bit, isn't it? Despite all the disasters, you've con you've been consistently lucky as well. Yeah, of course. It doesn't feel like I have been all the time, but there is definitely luck involved for sure. We have been pretty lucky at times, but we've equally been unlucky at times as well, right? All right, winter is finally here. Oh, and we mined this stuff already. Okay, nice. So somebody is on it. Okay, we might actually be able to get a uh, fueled stove instead of this dumb campfire. Although the campfire is providing a source of heat, so there is that. What's it like inside these rooms? It's pretty, pretty cold, isn't it? I don't know if uh, there's any other way to heat up these rooms other than campfires, but then it's too hot. It's a little bit too hot then. So I don't know. Alright, well that's fine. Let's get these traps rearmed so that we're ready for stuff. Um, somebody's gonna have to empty this out. Okay, the latrine has been emptied. We'll do this flagstone once the traps have been rearmed. Right? We're just using sandstone for now. We could switch over to steel like later on, but for now they're fine. Try to make some plumbing out of the fire pit. Plumbing, um can we even do plumbing yet? No, we can't. We have to research it, I believe. So we'll get electricity first and then we'll get some plumbing and stuff done. Get plum toilets and get showers and hot water and radiators and stuff. We'll have to get. Um, we're not going to be able to use a um, a water mill generator, so we might have to like find some other way of generating power. Oh, poop feast! That's some great hunting. Bub. That's some real nice hunting. Just perfect. Just what we need. Just what we need. Was that the explosion? That was the, um... That was not an explosion. That was a, um... Spacecraft chunk landing from space. Okay, we gotta figure out how this is gonna work here as well, right? So that's... Oh, that's not big enough. It needs to go out one more. Structure. Wooden wall. So actually it has to come out to here. For it to line up perfectly on the other side, right? And then we gotta sort out Heat is going to definitely be a big priority. And then an indoor growing area is going to be... So that those are the kind of things that we want to be researching, right? Like, um, we probably want to go geothermal almost straight away for the extra power so that we can get uh, growing lights and stuff set up, right? You need a, a marriage place. Yeah, we'll get one set up after. We'll have a nice... We'll make, like, a nice courtyard for a marriage spot or something. 
Just get these defenses and stuff up. Then if, at least if we get raided or a crazy animal comes at us or whatever, we're ready. And then we'll get these extended out a little bit too. Coxian is working on spider. Reducing his resistance. Talking about sand castles. He's down to 8.6 now. We might actually be getting spider. We're going to name spider Jimmy when we get him. That was the deal, right? Okay, and then floors, we want some sandstone tile. Okay, great. Get this in here too. Coxian's a really good builder. Holy crap, he's so fast. And then there's like one tile missing there. Okay, so that makes that as big as that now. So we might actually be able to make a kitchen soon. And then have a, uh, a winter freezer. The winter freezer. Do we, do we want to have the kitchen down here? Do we want it more central to where the dining room and stuff is going to be? Probably more to where the dining room and stuff is going to be, right? What other crafting can we do we have right now? What do we need? Fueled smithy could be pretty good. Uh, butcher table we'd need. Uh, a wooden... A sculptor's table as well. Structure... Wooden wall. Okay. And then we need a wooden door here. And then floors we want to have flagstone up at. And like that too, and then we can figure out the rest after, right? So we'll have another crafting room down here. Uh, two penitents are chasing a sailor named Hobo, who's calling us from nearby. He's being chased, uh, and the tribes people as well. Okay, let's offer him safety. Uh, what's his bio? He's good at animals, artistic, and uh, he's got a flair for social, but not a high skill in it. Okay, well, Spider is going to be Jimmy, so who do, who wants this guy? Flounder. Flounder. Alright, Flounder, you got it. He's got quite a ways to go. Let's hide him inside here. We'll let the traps do the work. Okay, Flounder, what are you good at? Not at any good at doctoring. Wardening, we don't need you. Animal handling, sure, you can be our animal handler. And you could also do some hunting for us as well. And art. And it would be great if you did some hauling and cleaning as well. Perfect. <laughs> Okay, these guys are coming right in. Oh, so weird. So they do appear on the marsh. So they could actually spawn in from the side here as well. That's not a huge problem, but... Okay, we don't want anybody leaving the compound during this raid. This guy's got eight hours left to live. Okay, well that was the end of the raid anyway. Alright, so Flounder we now have as well. We're gonna need a bedroom for his ass. Welcome aboard, Flounder. Move him away a bit. Move him away where? Move who away? To where? How's Spider doing? Jimmy Schnitzel. Good old Jimmy Schnitzel. Flounder's about to have a big breakdown. Oh, you know why as well? It's probably because he'll need... Um, he doesn't have any clothes, actually. So he's going to need a parka, some pants. I'm probably going to have to give him like a button-down shirt as well. But a parka first, I'd say. Okay, Flounder, you're going to have to just chill inside here, okay? You're not allowed to leave while you're nude like that. Just hang out in here where it's at least somewhat warm until we get your parka done. Mm. 
We've got a caravan request here. They want six dusters for a masterwork marine armor. For six dusters of normal quality or better. Okay, let's hang on to that. We might actually be able to fulfill that. Because I think I have enough leather to do the dusters. Six dusters for a masterwork marine armor. That's crazy. <laughs> I know, what the fuck game? That's crazy, isn't it? All right, Flounder, I said that you had to chill. It's too cold. Wait until Poop Beast has done your parka. Then we'll get you set up, all right, bitch? There, go to bed in the warm. That's nice. There, he's almost done your, your parka right now. There's going to be some jealousy over Flounder's bedroom, but it's just a temporary bedroom. Okay, you're going to have to just burn the midnight oil here. we got to get this guy in some warm clothes. Who's better at Rim, RimWorld? Me or Pyrian? Probably Pyrian. I think Pyrian's played this way more than I have. I like the little courtyard we've got going on. Yeah, it's not bad, eh? The symmetry in this base is a little bit better than previous. I had to go to work just after the toxic shit show. Did I have to restart? No, I didn't actually. We um, we caravaned and left. Look, we have two abandoned settlements. It's the same crew. We lost this settlement. We can go back and explore it after, see if there's anything that we can pick up. Um, and then we had another little one here, but we lost about... We had to leave two guys behind um, on top of a couple of people who died there already. And then, um, and then this one we lost like three or four people. And then this one so far we've lost a couple of people as well. But we're slowly building back up. It's taking a little while, but we're getting there. It's happening. Last I saw this is repairing a spaceship. What happened? We launched that ship. We launched. We launched it. Cirque, thanks so much for the donation. Hi, Sips. Here's two pounds plus the 69p I said I would give to you before. Enjoy. Thanks so much. I appreciate it, thanks. And Mubinski, thanks for the bits as well, like half an hour ago. It's so quiet without TTS, Sips. You've got a lovely forehead shine. It's sad, though, that we can't hear Alan telling you this. Bring back TTS. I can always turn it on again next week, Mubinski. I'll be, like, really hard up for cash at that point, so I'll turn it back on, okay? <laughs> I'm just joking. I'm only joking. Did you see the new City Skylines DLC called Campus is releasing in two days? Yeah, I've got early access to it, but I've just like been on a RimWorld binge recently and I've just really felt like playing it, so that's what I've been doing. Um, no regrets either, it's been great. I've really enjoyed it. And I think, I think I'm getting better at the game as well, which is nice. We've added a couple of mods and stuff, which has been interesting too. Um, where's this new guy? Flounder. Flounder... You gotta force wear this. And let's get you forced into these as well. Oh, you already had some lizard skin pants on, did you? Nice. Okay, well, whatever. Now we've got our own pair of lizard skin pants. Alright, he should be fine now. He's uh, just staring. He's relaxing socially by the fire in his uh, bedroom. Fair enough. You do you, Flounder. It's fine. We have a bunch of idle colonists as well, which is a nice spot to be in, isn't it? We're running low on food though, and there is very little in terms of wildlife out there. It's 12, minus 12. I think there was just a migration, so maybe we'll get like some muffalos or something back soon. We have all these packaged survival meals to keep us going, hopefully. Flounder wants to die. Do I like playing with mods or without mods? Um, it depends on the mods. I think feel like the ones that I've got now are like not too probably Dub's bad hygiene is probably the more overhauly one. Which adds toilets and plumbing and stuff like that. But at the same time, because Um I, I guess I'm just used to that kind of stuff in like Prison Architect, which is a very sort of you play that game similarly to how you play this game, I guess. It's not so bad. It doesn't feel like too too crazy. But I think every time we play, we'll just have more and more um, mad foxes. This red fox has gone mad. It's coming to get us. Hide, poop beast. No. No, hide. Hide. Don't let him get you. He's coming. Poop beast. You have got to be joking me. Okay, now it's safe. 
<laughs> What's he doing? He's meant to be going to bed. He almost went out and got attacked by a red fox. Unbelievable. Oh, he's gone out to... Okay, this is good. So what's left? Just two rats. The red fox is dead. It went mad. Human meat is back on the Manu. No, it's not. Did the old muffalo die? All of the muffaloes died. Yeah, they did. We couldn't, um, we couldn't feed them in the winter. We didn't have anything to feed them. The winters are very long in uh, boreal forests, so... Uh, we didn't, we were not prepared to... We had four muffalos, a bunch of them self-tamed. And we just weren't ready for them at all. We couldn't, couldn't handle them. And then they died. It's minus 25 out here. It's crazy. Absolutely crazy. All right, good. We cut up some of the some of the meats. We're waiting for our cook. We're waiting for our cook drop bear to actually do some cooking. We're wait, waiting for Coxian to finish some of this crafting as well. Every time he does these traps, though, I think he gets even better at constructing, right? Yeah, he does. Look at this. This guy is slamming through it. He's got like a he's got like a lust for it too. Look at how quickly he slams through the progress. He learns at a hundred percent. Oh shit, we almost got electricity as well. Holy crap, we're gonna have heating. I think we're gonna have to research geothermal almost straight away, which is another really lengthy one. But Prostanol has just been doing it. Nice. Oh my god. Oh my god, we got electricity! Oh my lord! Oh, oh my lord, we've done it. Can Drop Bear reach the fire with the bed right next to it? Probably not, no. Um, that's probably why we lack, um, we lack meal making. Okay, so for geothermal power, it's double what it took us to get electricity done. That's a huge one. So we might just have to go for like, um, water mill, hydroponics, air conditioning. Electricity gives us what exactly? Do we get anything for electricity straight up, or is it all stuff that needs to be researched? Power? So we have wind turbines now that we can make. So we might be living off of wind turbines to begin with, which means that we will then want batteries researched next. Okay. We'll get wind, some wind turbines set up. I don't think I have any components. Did we leave all of our components behind when we did our mass migration? We probably did, right? Well, there'll be lots of compacted stuff here that we can grab, so it's fine. Um, I mean, we can make one, but it's not going to really help us until we have batteries, right? Maybe wind turbiner plus a wood generator. Um, do we have the... Um... Oh yeah, we get wood fire generator, right? Wood fired could be really good. Okay, so let's grab some components then. Wood fired, wood fired is fine. It it'll help us for now. We'll grab these components out of the wall here, and there's some more down here somewhere. Just don't want to go too close to where that, where those mega spiders are. It's the worst. Oh, there's a whole bunch in here. Holy crap! Okay, let's grab all this. We have a little bit of steel close to the base. Uh, we need a bigger storage room, uh, but we're sort of sorting all this stuff out as we go right now. The traps are all back, so that's good. We're good against raids and stuff for now. Um, we can move this stone cutter thing into here. This can be just like another crafting room in here. And then let's also have a um, production, let's also have a butcher table in here as well, so it's nowhere close to the kitchen. Okay, and then we're going to need to have a torch lamp in here too. Alright. Who lacks a ranged weapon? Flounder lacks one. Is he an actual hunter? 
Did we put him on hunting? Oh yeah, we did. That's crazy. Okay, there's a bit of wildlife back here now. Raccoon. I'll kill those things. Okay, so we're still using this campfire as our kitchen. Which hopefully... Oh yeah, we want to add a bill here too, because we're not actually doing anything with this. Burning... Cremating corpse burning... Oh, does this just happen automatically? We don't need a bill for it? All of the fecal sludge will just get burnt up in there? Okay, we'll see. So this needs wood for the butcher table, and that's it. And are we out of wood? So we can go and chop some? We need lots of wood. Okay, good. There's a marriage on as well. Pentagrill and Coxian are, are due to get married now as well. Incredible. Simply incredible. We've got a minor break risk in flounder here as well, potentially. That we be careful of. But we're cutting down all these trees now. This is good. Coxian can finish this better. Okay, so bills. We want to butcher creatures forever. Let's get rid of that. It's good. And then batteries will start researching, but we can get this um, this generator set up sooner rather than later, right? So we go architect, uh, power. We just need components, right? Wood fired. Where do we want to put this bad boy? We could just put it out here, right, for now. There's an arctic wolf hunting flounder. Where is flounder? Whoa! Traps? Traps! What the fuck? Come on! What is going on here? Where are the traps? Oh, come on! Well, he walked through three traps! That is fucking garbage! The wolf gave it the old reach around. Fuck me, that's garbage. You walked through three fucking traps and they didn't spring. We're almost out of food again. God, there's not much out there, is there? All the wildlife is gone. It's minus 14 degrees out. We need some... We need, like, a big herd to migrate back. I think we're gonna starve again. How the fuck are we supposed to survive winters if there's, like, no animals around at all? I forgot to install the wood door. No, no, there's not meant to be one there. They're meant to go... They're meant to weave in and out of the traps and hit all of them. He, he should have gotten killed three times over. But just didn't. He's just gone and injured three people. Yeah, I know. Three three people that are just out of play now. Which is kind of garbage. Poop Feast is about to have a major break risk as well. Probably because he needs to poo and pee and eat and stuff. Where's Drop Bear? Oh, of course. He would be injured, right? God, it's so cold. Alright, Drop Bear. We gotta get you cooking up meals too, unfortunately for you. Have you been tended to at least? Yeah, okay. You really should have potty trained Poop Feast 420 by now. He's potty trained. 
He's completely potty trained. Why didn't those traps go off? That's crazy. I don't get that. He just walked through three fucking traps. It's nuts. Um, well, there's just a lot of predators here, but nothing, um, no, like, deer or muffaloes or anything worthwhile. There's a bunch of hops here, though. I'm kind of scared to... Okay, there's a cougar hunting pentagrill now. Pentagrill, where are you even? Okay, everybody. It's a national emergency. Here comes one coo- Okay. Alright, the cougar is dead. <laughs> okay, he, he did spring a trap. Thank Christ for that. Jesus. Alright, let's get this thing butchered up and make some more meals. Animals don't trigger traps when hunting for food. They only do it as man hunters. Alright. Well, he triggered that one. Or is that because we started shooting at him or something? I don't know. Might as well hunt the predators. Yeah, I know, but the thing is, if they turn around and fight back, it's really annoying. Especially because we don't really have, like, um... We don't have any, like, armor or anything for our dudes, right? So it's a little bit scary. We need to get somebody up to the stage that Solario was at last time with the charged gun and like marine armor and stuff. Just go out and like slaughter an entire herd of muffaloes without a, even blinking an eye. That's the best. Send three or four pawns to hunt together manually. I don't think we're that desperate yet. Who knows, we might get like some more stuff turn up soon. What are these cargo pods? Are these the hops? Oh yeah, they're just the hops. Can't do anything else with hops, right? We have to, we can only make beer. We can only make warp with it and then beer. We can't make like, um, a delicious tiramisu or something for the colony. Or, um, I don't know, like something else. Maybe, maybe something else. No, okay. Um, actually, instead, let's go for a sandstone wall here. We gotta get Flounder a bedroom. Flounder's just like sleeping in there right now, it's not the best. Ah! Wow. Okay, should we give everybody a heater? It's gonna be costly. But at least we can keep like a, a, a like a more consistent temperature, right? Because it's kind of cold inside all of their rooms right now. We need more components. We'll see there. Heater every other room is what you do. Uh, what, so you put a heater... It's so cold though, like, I think we'd need one in each room. Minus 22. Even one per room is gonna be tough, isn't it? We have to be careful here because we could get an infestation even just off of this, eh? digging into here too far. What if there's like an ancient evil in there or something as well? That, that would suck. Okay, we got a psychic soothe for males. That's nice. Watch us get an infestation. Fuck me, that would suck so bad. We're kind of at that point in the game now where we haven't really had one, so like, we might get one. Can you be the next Bob? What, like, uh, the next, like, melee guy, you mean? Yeah, I don't see why not. Where did all this food go? Drop bear? 
Why aren't you making... Okay, battery is done. Alright, water mill generator we don't need. Solar panels, possibly. Hydroponics could be good. I guess we want... Air conditioning isn't... Well, I guess we want air conditioning, right? For when it's not winter, we want to be able to reliably store meat and stuff without it spoiling. Because right now, we don't have a way to do that. How much is here? Oh, there's only three meat there. That's what. All right. There's a bit back here now, so we can actually go hunting. Um, we could go after these foxes, I guess. At least the red fox. So it'll be by, by itself, right? Nice. So that means that we can also have wall lights in the rooms now too, right? Without needing torches. Just start using up some of the steel and stuff, I guess. What's this stuff? Sandstone and marble. Oh, marble is good for like floors and stuff, isn't it? Alright. See if you guys can bring some food back for us. It looks like the red fox is dead. So let's go for these arctic foxes too. Flounder killed it. What the hell is drop there? Oh, okay, good. I was gonna say. We're out of food. Completely. <laughs> I love how he cooks the meal and then just eats it himself. What a fucking asshole, eh? And then that one he's kept for himself for later as well. Man, what a dude. What a dude. Lynx and the Arctic Wolf are like a bit trickier, right? Okay, that's another dead arctic fox. God, food is such a problem, isn't it? You're absolute worst housemate. I know. Roof the middle. Nah, that's fine for now, honestly. Very good. What are we missing here? Components we have, so it's just the steel itself that we're missing. Well, the research is starting to come along, though. That's good. We actually have electricity now, which is really nice. We actually have some heat in the rooms and stuff, too. Oh, is this guy ready to go now? Oh, yeah, we can recruit him. Jimmy, you're ready. More people to, to, to die. We need like a bulk trader or something to turn up and sell us just a whole bunch of meat or something like all right jimmy you're in we've already told jimmy that he could have this guy so it's jimmy crafting 12 wow jimmy that's nuts okay basic handling you don't need to do it growing you don't need to do it. All of this stuff. Please do it. God damn, that's great. Jimmy, that is so good. Holy shit. Okay, and then you can do this when there's nothing to be done. So that means that we can now get poop feast on that as well. Cooking. So that means that Penny does not need to do this at all anymore. That's good. Okay, and what do we have here now? 300 or so left. Okay. Good. It's like 20 degrees in every room, pretty much. 